Long ago, in a land far, far away, there lived a princess stuck in a castle. Her name was Princess Peach. She was kidnapped by a big, ugly dragon named Bowser. And only with the help of a plumber and the assistance of his brother were they able to save the lovely princess from disaster. Who am I talking about? None other than it's a me, Mario. Hello. Yeah, you know who it is. A super popular video game franchise and the most popular video game song of all time. The Super Mario Bros. theme written by none other than Koji Kondo, the best of the best. Let's hear it first, and then I'll show you how to build the song from scratch. I'm only going to do a little bit of it because the song's pretty long. It would take way too long for one video. Let me move this stuff out the way. And let me play it. Let's hear it. Cool. Super popular, super famous, super recognizable all over the world. A very ubiquitous video game song. And it's super catchy too. It's in the key of C major, whatever that means. But let's go ahead and delete these letters up here. And if I just press that, it'll give me a blank slate. Now, we are starting from scratch. I'm going to move this guy out the way again. I'm going to move this up here, and then we're going to make the Mario theme song. What in the world do we need to do? Well, I'll tell you what we need to do. We need to go to settings. First, before anything else, always go to settings. If you don't change your settings, you have to change them later. Later, it might screw up all you've put in so far. So first, length, 10 bars. Why? Because it's eight bars of music, really, but a two-bar intro at the beginning. So two plus eight equals 10. 10 bars of length. And the scale you want to use is chromatic, not major. So change that to chromatic. Length to 10 bars, scale to chromatic. So we have all the notes at our disposal. Click the blue check mark and you're ready to rock. Let's start up with the uh, tempo before we put in some notes. I'm going to do the um, notes first and we'll put in the drums after this. Usually start with the drums. We're going to flip it up today. We'll go up to the tempo to 197. Boom. Weird number, I know, but tempo is the speed of the song. It's measured in beats per minute. And we have 197 beats per minute for the Mario theme song. Ready to go. Keep these instrument sounds the same for now before you can experiment with them later. But let's start putting in some notes. We have 10 bars of music like we put our length at. The bars are separated by white, gray, white, gray. There's the first four, the next four, and then the last two for 10 total. Now, we're going to start with the intro, the very famous melody that everybody recognizes immediately as the Mario song. It starts with two yellows. Boom. Two yellows, skip one. Then a yellow, skip one. Then a red. Then yellow. And then skip one. And that's the whole first white area. The first bar looks like that. Go ahead and copy that. And make sure your spacing's right. We're above the thick blue line here. These are the bass notes, and this is the melody. This is the high part, so we're going to start it above that thick blue line. Two yellows, skip. Yellow, skip. Red, yellow, skip. And you're ready for the next bar. And the next bar is super easy. It puts a teal first. And then another teal, but below the blue line. So you got to find where that is underneath that blue line. And it's, it's pretty much at the first of that bar and the middle of that bar. So if you split it up. You'll see that the teal starts here on the very beginning of the gray section, then skips three, and then a low teal and skip three. If that's put in correctly, then you have the whole gray bar filled out. Let's hear it. Oh, sounds right so far. Let's put in that next little section. That's what we'll call our intro. But I changed my mind. Before we put in any extra notes, let's put in the drums for the intro because the drums are a little weird for the intro. So let's go ahead and put them in. You're going to start with a circle and a triangle at the very beginning of the white section. Boom. Then you skip one. Then you're going to do two triangles in a row. Skip one. Two more triangles in a row. And skip one. So let's look at that white section. Circle, triangle lined up. Skip one. Two triangles. Skip one. Two triangles. Skip one. And then you're going to put... Uh, the gray section in after that. Check your spacing on this. Make sure your circles and triangles look great. Excellent. Boom. There's the triangle right there at the beginning of the gray. Then you skip two. Then you're going to put a circle right there and skip one. 
Let's check that again. Beginning in the gray section, triangle, skip two, circle, skip one. Then three triangles. And that's the end of the gray section. And that's the end of the entire intro. Now we're ready to move on to the next section, which is just four bars of music repeated once. So eight bars total, four plus four. So we got to put in this next four bars after we hear this intro. Let's hear the completed intro. Yeah, sounds great. You already know what's coming next, or at least you got it in your ear, I bet. Let's figure out what the notes are. We are now at the third bar, which is the second white section. It's going to start with a red, then skip two, then a teal, then skip two, then a yellow. That's not a yellow. Scroll down. Yellow. That's not a yellow. Scroll up. There's my yellow. Boom. Red, skip two, teal, skip two, yellow, skip one. And that is the white section right there. And we'll put in the drums after that. Let's keep going. That's the part that goes bum, bum, bum. And then the next comes bum, 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 right? Let's figure out those notes. So at the beginning of the gray section, bar four, you're going to skip one, put a purple. And then skip one, put a pink. Skip one, put a magenta, then a purple. And that is the end of bar four. Let's check it out. Now let's put the drums in. The drums start with after the intro, just become a simple steady beat. So nothing complicated like that intro. So it goes circle, skip three, triangle, skip three. Circle, skip three, triangle, skip three. So the intro is a cool drum part, and then it's just a steady beat throughout the rest of the song. So now I want you to just go ahead and put that in for the rest of the tune. At the beginning of each bar, which the beginning of each gray, beginning of each white, you put a circle. Then you skip three and put a triangle and then you skip three and that should bring you to the next bar. So I'm going to put that in real quick to finish it off. While I do that, I'm going to go ahead and a little uh, shameless self-promotion here. Smash that like button, subscribe, all that good stuff. You guys know what to do. Helps me a lot and gets YouTube to push my stuff out there more, which enables me to keep making wonderful content for you beautiful people to make and recreate as music and show your teachers and impress your friends. Whatever you want to do with it, not my concern. Let's keep going. Now let's hear what we got so far. Hear that steady beat is going to continue throughout the song just to keep the, the flow moving, keep it driving with the pulse. Now let's figure out what we have to put in the next part, which is uh, pretty weird, pretty complicated, but not too, not too crazy. And then after we put in these next two bars, the next, the last four bars are just a repetition of the first four that we just put in after the intro. So, this section is going to start with a teal. Oh. And then you got to go. So underneath that last purple we had of the gray section, remember we skip one after the purple. Then the beginning of the white section starts with a teal. And then right after that, without skipping a row, you got to jump way up to yellow. That's not yellow. There it is. Boom. Teal to yellow. And then skip one. Then you're going to put a teal. That's not a teal. There's a teal. And then a purple. And then you're going to skip one after the purple, put a green, and then a teal. That's a weird bar, I know. So let's check on that one more time. We have as our fifth bar of music, teal, yellow, skip one. High teal, high purple, skip one, green, teal. That's like a lime green. I consider that like a normal green. We'll call that like a lime green to a teal. And the spacing on that's a little weird and it's all kind of spread out. So check that one. It's a little tricky to make sure the spacing's correct before we move on. Now, let's hear it. Now let's finish off that part and then that part just repeats, right? Like the song does. So the gray section after that, let's go ahead and put it in. It starts with a yellow. No, it doesn't. It starts with the empty row. Sorry, you're going to skip the very first row of the gray and then a yellow right there. And then after that, you skip one. Then you're going to do uh, red, then orange, and then pink. And then that's the end of the, that section. So let's check out that gray bar. It's a little weird here. This gray section after the, the last weird white section starts with nothing at the beginning. Then a yellow, then skip one. Then a red and orange, then a pink without skipping. And then you have two skips at the end of the gray. And if your space is correct, you should have those two skips left over. It starts you at the very 
next white section. Let's hear that whole part because the drums are ready to go. So this section is finished too, ready to be repeated for the last section. Hey, and then it just starts that part again, right? So let's go ahead and, re rem and remember exactly how we did that. You can go back and forth, but for the sake of time in this video, I'm just gonna try to put it in quickly and not explain it because we just explained this section previously. So it's basically just this section repeated. So let's do that again. I'm gonna put it in as quickly as possible. Got a red, skip to, no, and then yeah, and then yellow. I'll try to just throw all this together. And then purple, pink, and then a teal. I'll move my big noggin over here for now. And then this section's weird. Super weird spacing and, and melody happening in this song, but Koji Kondo's a genius and he is some of the most catchy music on the face of this earth, in my opinion. Another favorite of mine is his work with Mario 64. And I'll just talk about the beauty of Dire Dire Docks, Jolly Roger Bay. That's another song that is very near and dear to my heart that he wrote. Sounds very beautiful, can immediately bring tears to the eyes of, yes. All right, cool. I think I've, <laughs> I'll stop rambling about nothing. I think I've finished it. So remember, I said these four bars, the last four bars, are just a repeat of the previous four bars we did. So the first two bars are an intro. The next four bars are what we call the A section. Then it just repeats that A section again. And then that takes you to the end and it'll repeat. There's obviously, like I said, several more sections, but it would take way too long to make in one video. So let's hear our final product. If your spacing and your drums and your tempo and your settings are all correct, here's what it should sound like, boom. Then it'll just repeat. Boom. It's good enough. Close enough. Yahoo! Yeah, exactly. Mario, the Super Mario Brothers theme song. It's been requested several times. It's obviously a song that's been in my childhood and part of my life forever. You can't go anywhere without, you know, associating video game music with Koji Kondo. And his masterpiece is the Super Mario Bros. theme song. So, again, thank you all for watching. Thank you all for tuning in. Thank you for your hot requests. Keep them coming. One, I'm always wondering what the next song is that I'm going to do. So you got to help me figure it out. And my name is Mr. Baker, the music maker. Make sure you like and subscribe. Again, thank you so much for watching. I love you. Peace out.